Hey what's up guys, Brad here. Today we have a brand new Dual Links Huge Leaks video. Now I know we got the new Forbidden Limited list with uh, Shen's Dojo being hit. I think it's a good hit, it's not going to make any difference to the Six Samurai deck in any real way, it just stops them from using any semi-limited cards such as Treacherous or Enemy Controller, which basically means that the Stall matchup is kind of dead for that deck now, but they're still going to be the best deck in the game, I think that's kind of a certain. Obviously they hit that because it was the oldest card they kind of could hit out of the two real problem cards which were Fuma and Dojo. That's kind of my main thoughts, I didn't want to spend 10 minutes talking about Dojo. So um, let's get into the leak video because we have a ton of things to talk about and things that we kind of didn't even know were coming, so uh, it's pretty cool. So first up with a brand new sale that actually started today as I'm recording this, it's a URSR guaranteed sale, 40 hours only. It's the same sale we'll beginning when the new box drops, so if you'd miss out on it now, you don't really need to feel bad because we'll get the same sale back when the new box comes, so nothing too bad there. Additionally, like I predicted, Jack Alice is coming to the gate at some point, probably within the next like week or so, which would make sense. Usually after we've had two Arc events, they'll put the main character to the gate the next month, so if you missed out on any Jack reward cards, then you can go ahead and try and get some of those when he comes to the gate and unlock him as an unlockable character, so that's pretty cool. Then we're also getting a Loomis and Umbra unlock event, which if you look at this banner, seems to be the Tag Duel Tournament, which is what I kind of thought as soon as we kind of got word of we're getting a Tag Duel Tournament and we're getting a Loomis and Umbra like Steve's and Playmat. I thought those two kind of mixed together really well, and this seems to confirm that we're getting a Loomis and Umbra available via the Tag Duel Tournament event, which is coming pretty soon, I think. If not, I don't think know if it's been announced yet. I can't remember if it has yet or not, but still, this will be uh, pretty cool once we do actually get access to these two and see what kind of cards and skills they have and uh, how they'll end up impacting the game or not. So, uh, Loomis and Umbra coming real soon, that's pretty cool. However, this could mean that Loomis and Umbra just show up as part of the Tag Duel Tournament event, whereas they could still be unlockable at some point in the future in their own kind of event. We do have the Matt and Sleeves in the game files for them as well. But we do have the art asset for the Tag Duel Tournament card lottery, which shows us two brand new cards we're getting into the game. So first up, we're getting Splendid Venus, it's a level 8 Light Fairy, 2,800 attack, 2,400 defense. All non-fairy monsters lose 500 attack and defense. And the activation and effects of spell track cards activated on your field cannot be negated, so it's kind of a counter to Legendary Six Samurai Shien in a way. But given we're getting some new Dark Lord support, this could fit in very well with uh, that one that special summons a fairy from the grave when it's special summons, so that could work really nicely. Additionally, I know someone's going to be very happy with this. We're getting Red Rising Dragon as a UR, level 6 Dragon Synchro, 1200 attack, 1600 defense, requires a Fiend Tuner plus one non tuned monster, so it works really well with the. Uh, Flare Resonator, Dark Resonator, those kind of things. When this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target one Resonator monster in your graveyard, Special Summon it. You cannot Special Summon monster in your extra deck at the turn you activate this effect, except for Dark Dragon Synchro, so that's pretty much Red Dragon Archfiend and maybe a few others. During your main phase, except to turn this card into the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard and then target two level 1 Resonator monsters in your graveyard and Special Summon them both. Now, I don't think we have any level 1 Resonators in the game right now. I might be wrong about that, we might be getting some new box, I can't remember. But this effect of Red Rising Dragon might not be as prevalent as the first one is to basically kind of step up into going into like a Red Dragon Archfiend using Red Rising Dragon as like a, uh, a surrogate for it. Then we have a new campaign for Red Eyes Black Dragon, which I'm really excited about. It shows Red Eyes, it shows gems, but importantly, it's a prismatic version of the original starter deck Joey artwork, which we don't have in Duel Links, which is really, really cool. And it's my favorite Red Eyes artwork, I think it's the best one, it's the one they use in the show, it's the most classic. And it's going to be nice to actually be able to have this in Duel Links at some point in the future, probably within the next week or so. Again, like usually these things come very quickly. So Red Eyes getting the campaign is only a sign going forward. And then, of course, if you look to the title of this video, you will know we have more to talk about with Red Eyes in the very near future. So additionally, we got some brand new series filters, which you know before we talked about the DSOD one having a filter. But now we have all of them. We have DM, GX, 5Ds, Zexel, DSOD, Arc5 and Vrains. And now we have Series 5, KC Grand Championship, which means we could be seeing characters like Leon, or Siegfried von Schroeder, or maybe any of like the other characters, like Grandpa was technically there as another character, there's a bunch of filler characters as well, um, what was her name, uh, with a teddy bear, I can't remember her name off the top of my head now, but she was there as well, uh, so maybe that means we'll be seeing more DM era characters in this new kind of Series filter world, because the DM world is getting pretty full up right now, so that would be cool if we do actually get some brand new characters from the Grand Championship, which is an arc that is usually quite overlooked, but Konami have been giving us more support in the TCG and OCG, 
for that arc and cards from the arc, so that should be really cool to see. Additionally, in May, we're getting a roaming Odeon event, which we did not know about, and I wonder if Konami are purposely taking their time to actually give us the upcoming updates for May, because usually we would have heard about them by now. Usually it's around the 23rd, 24th of the month we actually get the updates, so I'm expecting us to have a, an announcement in the app like within the next two days or so, telling us exactly what's coming in May and beyond, and Odeon seems to be a pretty much surefire get for, uh, for that month. So for Odeon's new cards, we have Great Protector, level 4, dark, 0 attack, 2000 defense, any monster destroyed by battle is shuffled into the deck instead of going to the graveyard, that kind of works in a way with his, you know, it's very similar to his Endless Trap Hell skill where you just kind of shuffle all the traps back into the deck and draw one random one. It's very similar to that mechanic, but for monsters, and I don't know how good this is going to be because clearly you'll just set this face down, your opponent might attack into it, and then you kind of have to leave it face up on the field. So I don't know whether it's going to be any good at all, I don't think it is. But still, it's a cool new card we haven't got in Duel Links just yet. Then we also have the first Monarch, which I'm sure I've talked about before, it's a continuous trap card. Special summon this card is an effect monster fiend type, level 6, 1000 attack, 2400 defense. If summon this way, you can discard one card, then declare one attribute. This card becomes that attribute, and can be treated as two tributes for the attribute summon of a monster with the same attribute as this card. If this was summoned this way, you cannot special summon monsters except monsters with this card's attribute. So essentially, you're, you're, you're really using this for the Mega Monarchs when they do eventually come to Duel Links. This is going to be a good card you're going to use for that archetype. Right now, of course, you could use it in you know anything that runs a level 7 or level 8 engine, which we are kind of seeing some more with Dark Lords, so maybe you could kind of interact it there, maybe not, who knows. Then we have a Statue of Anguish Pattern. Special summon this card as an effect monster, rock type, level 7, 0 attack, 2500 defense. If summoned this way, this card cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects while in control of the trap card that is a monster. If a card is special summoned from your spell and trap card zone to a monster zone while this card is a monster, you can target one card in the field and destroy it, so it's giving more utility to that whole trap monster engine and i like these two cards even if you don't use like the you know the first monarch's effect to kind of work around and get into bigger monarchs even if it's just a big like you know defensive wall then that's pretty good it's nice we're finally getting some of these trap monsters that have a you know such a high defense and actually good stats rather than just the kind of mediocre 1600 attack 1800 defense you know that kind of thing so Definitely interesting to see how far the trap archetype kind of goes and whether you could kind of make a really interesting deck with like Uriah with this with some more viable trap monsters. And finally we have a brand new structure deck. So remember we did this for Neos? We talked about this like a month and a half before the Neos deck got revealed. We have one for Red Eyes. It seems to be the premise is going to be very similar to the Neos one, giving us Red Eyes Fusion and a couple of other Red Eyes cards. Now we did see in a previous leak video, or in, you know, in the red, in the Black Rose Dragon video I did, the Blackstone of Legend was actually, you know, part of that list and had a rarity change. So maybe, just maybe, we're going to see Blackstone of Legend come to Duel Links around the same time as the Red Eyes Structure deck gets released. And of course, this is going to be very popular because Red Eyes has been one of the best decks in the past. It was ridiculously good back in the day. And these new cards open up the floodgates for giving us new Red Eyes Fusion monsters and some of the other Gemini Red Eyes support. So uh, that'd be kind of cool if we do get those further down the line. So for the two kind of confirmed cards we know, Red Eyes Fusion. Fusion summon one Fusion monster lists a Red Eyes monster as a material from an extra deck. Using monsters in your hand, deck, or field as Fusion materials. And if you do, its name becomes a Red Eyes Black Dragon. So obviously that's like the Neos Fusion for the deck. And the fact it's making its name, the name of the monster become Red Eyes, is really important for things like a Black Mill Dragon, or if we ever got a vid get it, Inferno Fire Blast cards just directly support the Red Eyes archetype. There are a lot of fusions in the game that aren't specifically Red Eyes fusions, like Black Skull Dragon, but that would make Black Skull Dragon a Red Eyes monster, so good in that regard. But you cannot normal summon or special summon other monsters the turn you activate this card. So unlike Neos Fusion, you can't summon the entire turn. That's what this is saying. With Neos Fusion, you can do all your things beforehand. But with this, you just can't, like, if you summon a monster this turn, then you can't play Red Eyes Fusion. So, it's a bit more fair in that regard, but I think the monsters you're going to be getting out with this are going to be a bit more explosive and a bit more destructive than, say, Brave Neos, which is pretty much the only target you really go into with that Neos Fusion card. And the final card is Return of the Red Eyes, it's a continuous trap. If you control a Red Eyes monster except Black Chick, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it, of course. This is getting out more red eyes in your graveyard. 
eventually leading you to go into an Exceson player with a nice Flare Metal Dragon, which we won't get for ages, and you know, I really don't think we're going to be getting for a while, when even when Exceed something does come. That's clearly what this is setting up for here. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect sent to the graveyard, so let's either face up or face down, you can target one Red Eyes monster in your graveyard, except Black Chick, and Special Summon it. Each of these effects are a harder once per turn. This is just really good for baiting your opponent to destroy your back row, which in Duel Links, I feel like you kind of want to do with Six Samurai. There are a ton of other back row that you kind of want to get rid of and deal with before you kind of go in if you're not playing with something that can negate spell and track cards outright. So, Return of the Red Eyes is going to be a pretty much a stable for the deck. I don't think it will be as good as something like, say, Champion's Vigilance was for the deck, because that was ridiculous. And I don't think we'll see Champvig kind of come back to its full status, especially when Red Eyes does return in, you know, in this fashion in a structured deck with potentially some devastating cards. But that is all the leaks for today. If you guys did enjoy, let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. What are you most excited for? Of course, this Red Eyes deck is going to be a while out. And again, like I said, we're probably going to have the upcoming updates for Duel Links happen today or tomorrow, sometime around then. So look forward to a video covering that as well. Legacy Doors content is coming. I'm kind of grinding my way through the game. It's a very slow process, but I don't really want to do story content, even though I kind of should. It's doing pretty well on YouTube for other people. So who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Legacy of the Duelist on my Nintendo Switch. Cool.